Hello everybody, Burnt Out Guy here and welcome back to A Nightmare Begins. Hmm. Well, there it is. It's not in render distance. Which kinda sucks. Hmm. Let's see if we can get that to render. Hmm. I don't want to go too close because there's a bunch of mobs up there. Look at that. There we go. There, the Sky Island. It's coming along pretty good, people. I'm just about done it. Yeah, looking forward to going and using that puppy up there. There, not that first little part. It's above that. That's like a gonna die and go away. <laughs> um, I'll show you that later, though. Right now, our main project, well, that I've done anyways, is my villager breeding trading triage center or the VBTTC. So this is a pretty cool little nifty device. I'll have to close that. Alright, so first of all, from different from my um, uh, my showcase that I did the other day, is that I've added these levers here. So that way, the villager can't escape. They're always stuck in there no matter what. Um, so I got a a lot of priests and a lot of like librarians um, so far. Which kind of odd, but whatever. Uh, so I'll save the trading for last. So I'll go show you how else I fixed all this up to be, because this is a lot different from what I had in my uh, uh, in my uh, creative world. Um, because some logics were brought to my attention when. Uh, I was testing this puppy out, and uh, as you see, there's no roof on either side, really, except for this right here, but it didn't even have to be there. You could have no roof whatsoever, as long as this one villager is here, in the vicinity of these doors, um, it's classified as a village, and has nothing to do with the roof on the top, which is very odd, and... Because of that, these two down here kept breeding and breeding and breeding and breeding. So now they got one more guy to go. As soon as he's done breeding, and hopefully they'll breed while I'm up here, it'd be really nice. Um, this whole area is going to get flooded with water. I don't have torches on me either, eh? Mm, Alright. I'll have to make sure I go to bed uh, so no mob spawn. So what's going to happen is as soon as that last cart gets in there, this, uh, all these dispensers are going to shoot off water. He's going to get pushed down into here. These pistons are going to retract, opening up the flow of water. Then he's going to drop down into that hole right there. And below there, there's another piston. Um, can I see it from here? Yeah, right here. And that's going to prevent him from continuing going into this little thing over here. Um, the villager mob elevator <laughs> very slow with my words tonight I don't know maybe it was the turkey or maybe it was the festivities after the turkey Oof. either one I'm still feeling pretty full and slow so um, by the way happy Easter everybody uh, happy 420 for all those that know what that is um, so yeah so that's it so as soon as he breeds these guys down here breed which I find breeding is very slow compared to what it used to be um, look speaking of which we have a, a villager and he's gonna get eventually pushed off or walk off the edge <clears throat> and into the system so maybe we'll be ever so patient to sit here and watch him do so which would be freaking awesome because this is exactly what I'm waiting for Come on, kick him off, push him into the water, I know you want to, tell him he must spread his wings and leave home, cause daddy and daddy are tired of him around, <laughs> oh my god, 
Yeah, I never know why they never made a female villagers. Kind of, kind of makes you afraid of the Mojang people. But, well, I got nothing wrong with that. But um, just figured some female ugly villagers would be nice. So just two males going at it. That'd be kind of awesome. Little villager guy, you're gonna fall down or what? Like you're on there by like a thread. Come on, somebody just like walk into him, push him off. I can't hit him because he's just gonna bounce up into that block. And I don't want to go in there. Come on, come on, knock him off. So that's probably one other thing that makes the system a little bit slower. Maybe is the fact that you know they have to get knocked off, but it doesn't prevent them from breeding because they still breed um, even though he's there, which isn't a bad thing. So hopefully maybe that guy will back up and push him off. Be a good villager. Wonder if trapdoors would work better. Making them think that you know there's more than just one air block of space or whatever, or not air block of space, but make them think that there's actual full blocks there. I like to hang around mommy and daddy a lot. Hmm. Hmm. That's another thing too, is too bad that they actually spawn right over top of one of the parents. And it would be nice if they, you know, like spawn right next to it, like the cows used to do, and all that stuff. Which would be kind of cool. But they don't do that no more. So we just gotta wait for these guys to like to fall off. Come on, somebody push the kid off. <laughs> like seriously. It'd be very nice. I think once nighttime comes along, he might go search for the village. Um, but still, I don't want to wait for nighttime for this kid to go home. Come on, ugly man, throw him in the water. Oh my god, these villagers are ugly, eh? Come on, throw him in the water. Listen to me, throw him in the water. Do it, do it, do it. Throw him. Oh my god. Hmm. Enough to long here. Come on, come on. You know you want to just like push him right off. Just push him. Give him a little love tap. Come on, come on. I wonder if these signs prevent him from actually wanting to walk off. Like we're getting too close to it. Not you. Wrong one. Ah. Anyways, you'll glitch back. You always do. <clears throat> I wonder why. They like to hang around their parents a lot for some reason, and I don't like that. I was never really around my parents a lot when I was younger. I was always out venturing. Mm. I know what it is. It's the newer generation. It's like my kid. He just can't leave me alone. I don't mind it, but at the same time, too, it's like, you know, don't you do other things, you know, other than want to be up my butt. <laughs> uh, I guess that's the price to pay when you're an idol. I like it though. It's fun. Are you going to throw this kid off or what? Because I'm getting kind of irritated here. I might just go down and throw you off myself if I had any more glass on me. Can I hit you? Off. There. I can't even hit him. There we go. Ha! Ah, sucker. There we go. Finally. Some action. <laughs> so he's gonna go down. He's gonna get caught. He's gonna go into here. That closes that off. Ah. Maybe it was just because I was hanging around. I was waiting for it to happen. You know? That's what I didn't want to do. I didn't want to hit him off. I didn't want to be mean. You know, poor kid. What did he do to deserve, you know, me hitting him? Oh, other than him being a dink and not going in the water like he was supposed to. Alright, so. Now you see these as flooded. And those are pushed back. Now, this is the only way I was able to get this water to turn on and off. Um, was using a mana stable and a fallen edge. <laughs> Don't ask me why, but that's the only way I was able to get these dispensers to turn off properly. And uh, 
King Creeper came over and gave me a hand with that there. He started using a mono stable and then I figured out that uh, it needed an off tick, an off power tick, so I threw in a um, fallen edge and we timed it out right and everything seems to work good, so thanks King Creeper for the little hand. Sometimes it's always uh, nice to have an extra set of eyes around there to you know, see what the hell's going on so you don't have to go up and down, up and down all the time. So we're going to go to bed right after I show you that he's stuck in here. So he's stuck in here waiting. These two aren't supposed to breed anymore. So there's a few places in there that I'm going to have to go either light up or put some half slabs. Um, I know it's not a very perfect system. Uh, and that's okay. I don't mind. I don't mind. Here's my bed. Bed's up here. Get up here before some mobs spawn would be nice. There we go. <clears throat> I had left my bed up here because I was watching them. <laughs> Making sure that they didn't breed. So it looks kind of perverted. Eh? You, know, you got a bed sitting up here watching two guys. <laughs> I'll remove that. That was because it looks bad. Alright. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, so we'll go over here and we'll check out some of these trades. Um, I have already checked out some of them, but there's a few new ones in here I hadn't checked out. So we'll start with you here, sir. <clears throat> paper, 32 paper for emeralds. Okay. You're the book guy, right? 12 emeralds in a book for a fortune 3, which is pretty good. I'll keep that around. Uh, you're not growing up yet. Is that another priest? Oh my god. <clears throat> That's pretty sad. 31 paper for emeralds. This guy I already played with. He was uh, 28 paper for emeralds. And I tried to bring him up, but it didn't, uh, it didn't upgrade. He cheesed me out. You're lucky you're still alive. Um, and then we got, I think these two are like... Yeah, bottles of enchanting. See, this guy gives you one, two bottles for one emerald. And then this guy, I think, gives you three for one emerald. And then this guy here gives me three for one emerald. Oh my god. Is that right? One emerald? Yeah, for one emerald. So I got three bottles of enchanting, guys. These guys are pretty good to have around. Um... I just gotta figure out my paper guys here. Maybe I could start doing some things with my paper here. Uh, I'll go get rid of some stuff. I'll go get ready and um, I'll just grab a bunch of paper since it's pretty much well all I got to trade with these guys. This paper, right? Yeah. Alright, so I'll gather a bunch of paper and I'll come back and we'll do the paper trade and we'll see how that goes. <laughs> Pretty bad. I'm so full of stuff. It's unreal, man. Unbloody real. Um, this is probably why I'm just full of stuff because I just constantly gather and throw in here. Unbloody real. All right, so I'll go gather some paper. As you see, I already had some going. I need more in here. Nope. It's melons, though. Mm. Alright, so I'll go do that, and once I get a sufficient amount of paper, I'll come back and uh, I'll explain to you another thing about villagers I've learned also. Um, but if we can get one maxed out, but if not, I'll still explain it to you. So I'll be back in a few minutes. Alright, so spending a little bit of time at my uh, sugarcane farm, I came up with almost four stacks of uh, paper. So we'll see how this goes. Alright, we'll start with you. I'll do you twice there and see if you upgrade. <clears throat> I got screwed the last time with that one down there. There, He, uh, he didn't want to upgrade whatsoever. See, now you're down to 27. Well, wow, that's pretty good. Let's do it again. I am right though, it started off at 32. <laughs> I might have been seeing things, but I don't know. 
Could have been just me. Alright, so now he wants 12 books for one emerald. Alright, well that's getting a little bit more expensive. Um, we'll come back to you, we'll come back to you. Uh, what's this guy here? Oh, he was the book guy. Um, 31, alright. Let's go one at a time. See what happens one at a time here. Alright, don't get too greedy. I know you've seen your buddies over there trying to get paper from me. You greedy bastard. Alright, so he wants three emeralds for a bookcase. You're like your buddy next to you. We'll just do it once, okay? If you don't upgrade, I'm not spending any more on you, okay? Hmm. Hmm. Alright. Alright, 11 emeralds for a librarian offers a clock. It's a nice golden clock, huh? Hmm. Alright, well, I guess I'll have to work up to that. And then you're what? He wants... Oh, this has been reset. Um, three emeralds for that, so... Go... Oh, yeah, he won't upgrade. Um, now let's try it. See what happens with you. There you go. Getting that little purple swirly stuff. <clears throat> that's good, that's good, that's good. Uh, come on, let's go. Still nothing. Still nothing. Alright, let's do it again. <clears throat> Might have to do it a couple of times there. Uh, I was running out of emeralds there. I had none left. You know, this trading thing is a little expensive, you know. And you didn't even upgrade off of that, you cheap bugger. Hmm, what did you have? You wanted books. Uh, what did you want? One emerald for a redstone? Alright, what else do you get? You better give me something. You better give me something good. Priest. An eye of ender for nine. <sighs> Not looking very good, not looking very good. Alright, so I'm going to take one of you. Did you get the purple swirlies? Yes, you did. What are you going to give me? Nothing yet. Alright, let's do it again. Hmm, come on now. Come on. Alright, so you went to glowstone. Alright, so this trading thing there is uh, pretty expensive. <laughs> I'm going to have to uh, figure a way to master this out there, but uh, we did get at least uh, some uh, experience portions of that. Got a little bit of redstone. Um, there is one thing I can do. Do I, do I get any more bookshelves from this guy? I can't remember if I did. Yes, I had four more there. Where's me axe? I can get some books. Let's see if I can get 12 books out of this. Alright. How many books am I going to get here? 18. Alright, so which one was the books? You were the books, weren't you? Twelve books for one emerald. You better upgrade, you bugger. See, I got an axe in my hand this time. It'll make me beat you. With the blunt end. Alright, you ready? I'm gonna click on you now. You better upgrade it. <sighs> alright, 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 alright. So, obviously, I'm gonna have to collect lots of resources to, uh get something proficient out of these guys but you know hey this time I at least came away with uh, one emerald <laughs> the last time I got screwed I didn't get nothing that's okay that's okay I can I can live with that that's good all right that's it everybody I hope you enjoyed my episode for today um, 
I'm going to probably kill one or two of these in a little while. See what kind of trades I can get from them. Because I don't just want these guys. You know, like, come on. There's a four priests and four uh, librarians. There's, like, two other trades I can get in there somewhere, you know. But I did get an idea from kind of this little strip thing here. Is that eventually once I do get, like, a perfect villager, um, I've started ripping down their village. And I'm going to build them a nice marketplace. And when I do get like a perfect villager, I'll put him in a stall. And that's where he's going to stay. Yeah. And then that way I can go back and trade with him whenever the hell I want. So that's my big plan. So it's going to be this building here. I haven't figured out how I'm going to make it look all nice and pretty yet. But I'm going to get there. And then I'll light it up here so that way no mobs spawn and... Um, I believe these are half slabs, but there's still stairs here, so mobs can still spawn on stairs. So I'll work with that, and maybe I might put like a little dome around it or something like that there, and make it look kind of nice. So, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Because I don't want too much of the glass, because the glass, with this trim around it, kind of hides a look sometimes when you're trying to make it something of a dome shape. Like, if I would have made that like at a glass, um you wouldn't have seen inside very well you would have seen a lot of gold trim so for certain things uh, this glass build isn't the best but that's okay I can live with it that's it everybody have a good night and I'll see you next time peace